In the name of Allah, who is most kind and most merciful. My name is Dr. Abdul Malik, PhD Pharmacology, Assistant Professor, University of Sargodha. Here is the title of my presentation, COVID-19, Coronavirus, an Emerging Outbreak in the World. Here is the list of contents, introduction, prevalence, awareness and prevention, therapeutics, our preparedness, new updates. Now coming to the major news updates that I have taken from different uh, news agencies, news channels and science and medical journals. Now coming to the introduction, COVID-19, CO stands for Corona, CI for virus, T for disease and 19 for 2019. What are the viruses? Virology is the study of viruses. Definition of viruses are ultra microscopic in nature, non cellular living particles composed of either DNA or RNA core surrounded by a protein enveloped called capsid. Characteristics of, characteristics of uh, viruses include obligate intracellular parasites, no ribosomes, no ATP generating mechanisms. RNA viruses have more mutations. Here is the classification of the viruses. Viruses include uh, DNA viruses are either RNA viruses. While we are discussing about RNA viruses, including coronavirus, common cold, SARS, MERS, and COVID-19, the seventh disease from the coronavirus. Here we see the timeline of coronavirus. First case was shown in December 13, 31. China alerts WHO to several pneumonia cases and further this continues to other countries and other parts of the world and spread over all the world. So here is the human coronavirus types, how many types are there. Up till now, seventh uh, human coronavirus have been discovered, that is novel coronavirus. Coronavirus is uh, disease, COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Common coronavirus include alpha, beta, or gamma types. Uh, other human coronavirus, which are beta in nature, including SARS CoV, MERS CoV, and SARS CoV 2, that is novel coronavirus. Uh, MERS means uh, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. SARS is the severe acute respiratory syndrome, and severe uh, SARS CoV the novel coronavirus that causes coronavirus disease in 2009-19 or COVID-19. Here is the origination of the viruses from where uh, these are mutated and come to the human being, transmitted to human. Uh, the first uh, SARS-CoV was originated from the civet cat and the uh, other uh, MERS-CoV originated from the Arabian camels. Uh, from uh, camels to human and from human to other human and this uh, continues next uh, co sars cov 2 the latest one version is taken from the pangolins uh, that is expected from the pangolins and these transmit to the human and human transmission is continue in the world so virus composition where coronaviruses are medium sized enveloped positive stranded rna viruses whose name derives from the crown-like structure in electron microscopes. These viruses have the largest known viral RNA genomes with a length of 27 to 32 kb. The host-derived membrane is studded with glycoprotein spikes. Replication of the uh, viral RNA occurs in the host cytoplasm because these are RNA viruses, though cytoplasm replication happen in the RNA viruses. Uh, and further detaches and reattaches at multiple location and causes disease in the uh, human beings. So here is the structure of uh, coronavirus. Coronavirus includes spikes, glycoproteins, M proteins, hemagglutinin uh, proteins and envelop is there, RNA and N proteins and E proteins are shown in the figure. How deadly is it with uh, more than 2700 recorded deaths from the uh, coronavirus SARS-CoV 
in 2002 to 2003, which was also originated in China. SARS-CoV killed about 9% of those it infected, nearly 800 people worldwide and more than 300 in the China alone. MERS, which uh, did not spread as widely, was more deadly, killing one-third of those it infected. WHO already had declared COVID-19 an international em emergency. Here is the announcement taken from the WHO World Health Organization Director General about the pandemic, first was epidemics and then pandemic of the COVID-19. Here is the endemic to pandemic that converted from epidemic to pandemic 11-3-2020. Here is the cases uh, originated from the China to other countries. These were Japan, South Korea, uh, Iran and Italy. Further, these uh, transmission continue to all over the world. Now we see the prevalence up to 9-3-2020. Coronavirus cases were more than 1 lakh and deaths were about 4,000 and recovered cases were 62, uh, more than 62,000. Here is again comparison from the previous one more than one month later prevalence up to 11 4 2020 from world o meter uh, coronavirus cases were 1.7 million more than 1.7 million and 103 uh, and 803 deaths uh, happened and recovered cases were more than uh, 3 lakh here is the coronavirus cases in the world uh, the first one USA more than 5 lakh cases are there multiple deaths are also shown and Spain Italy France Germany China and other countries are shown in the list here is another list in which uh, I have shown about the Pakistan where uh, cases of coronavirus are going on so deaths are uh, deaths are also shown in the table so how Wuhan, a city of more than 11 million, was cut off by Chinese authorities uh, because lockdown was started in the Wuhan where from uh, this uh, coronavirus has originated. This is the city of Wuhan is from the Hubei province in the China. So here is the lockdown situation in the Wuhan where no person was allowed to come in the market. All the markets were closed no one can enter or go from the market so they were uh, staying at the home to save the other transmission of the viruses so here is the stock market loss happen and multiple problems in the world that was uh, due to the coronavirus up, uh, outbreak here is the world lockdown situation all the uh, areas were closed and the sports olympics malls and the flights were also closed from country to country and country to other countries here is the uh, immunity of the work how our immunity works here are main uh, immunity uh, cells in the body including organs and tissues are the there thymus gland is there spleen is there and bone marrow are also there which also act as the suppression of the microorganism and uh, uh, save our body from the infectious diseases here is the major three types of defensive mechanisms uh, including external defense internal defense and immune defense first line of defense is skin mucous membrane secretions of the skin and mucous membrane second line of defense is phagocytic white blood cells, antimicrobial proteins, and the inflammatory responses. Third line of defense include lymphocytes and antibodies. Uh, because we have two major cells, uh, T cells or B cells, which detect the viruses and other microorganisms and save our body, uh, becoming the uh, uh, antibodies against those microorganisms. So here is the healthy lifestyle needed. Why should we be in healthy condition because health uh, healthy lifestyle including uh, diet exercise and there are other 
maintenance of the diseases. So if we maintain, then we can live and save from different diseases, infectious diseases. Uh, another thing is telemedicine. We cannot go towards the hospital where infection is more susceptible and stay at home. And the quality of life can be changed, quality of care. We can change the cost efficiency. And here are some medicines, uh, multi uh, multivitamins and minerals you can take to save your body and make uh, it healthy. And do not be panic uh, from the 2019 novel coronavirus. The life cycle of SARS-CoV-2 in host cells, here is the attachment and entry of the uh, SARS-CoV-2 virus that enter through the receptor, uh, angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors, which then uh, uncoding and further uh, replication and translation happens in the cytoplasm and it goes towards the Golgi bodies and other parts and go and the form the vesicles and vesicle bursts and releases the virion or virulent uh, microorganism or viruses to other cells uh, and affect and kill uh, the other parts of the body. SARS-CoV-2 uh, spike protein three dimensional three dimensional predicted structures are given in the last and we can see the SARS CoV 2000 1 and SARS CoV 2 uh, proteins are shown here and the SARS CoV uh, proteins are given here and here the structure of the SARS CoV we have already seen that have spikes and glycoproteins and other parts which are essential to uh, the virulent activity of this virus. So here is the pattern of disease progression, how it increased the uh, disease and uh, you can see the uh, onset of the disease is taken from the critical, severe, moderate and mild and from these lab diagnoses were tested, isolation and hospital hospitalization were taken and further some people more than 5% came to the ICU with the ventilator and causes death and multiple more than 80% recovered from the <coughs> coronavirus. Here, who will be at greater risk? This is very essential and very important thing. Everyone is assumed to be susceptible, although there may be risk factors including susceptibility to infection. Older people and people with certain health conditions including COPD, chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disease as and asthma, immune system disorder like HIV, uh, heart diseases, obesity, diabetes, kidney diseases, uh, liver diseases and pregnant women. These are the major uh, risk factor in these people. So coming to the age group and other diseases, age group have uh, in the young stage there is a power of immune system and that can kill the viruses and in the old age there is a removal of, uh, of the activity of the immune system and then there is a chance of disease and uh, causes of the disease to death is very common in the old age. If uh, vaccination is done in all these people we can save the healthy people from this coronavirus. Here is the common symptoms of the corona Wuhan coronavirus that has taken place in 2019 in the last of 2019 so common symptoms include headache and the malaise and the runny nose cough dry cough is there muscle pain is also shown on the other hand we see the potential complication of the viruses including high fever more than 38 centigrade and the trouble uh, breathing and the then that causes the pneumonia and the sepsis and even death may occur from this one. There are two main other common symptoms loss of taste and loss of smell is also shown in some patients and some patients were also asymptomatic. How will uh, we differentiate the flu, allergy and COVID-19 is it coronavirus or not? So three major differences are there. Uh, in coronavirus COVID-19 have dry cough and second number is 
uh, fever and the third is the um, difficulty in breathing. This is most common in the COVID-19 while absent in other cases. Now coming to the incubation period and mode of transfer of the COVID-19 and incubation period is the time between being exposed to a germ and having symptoms of the illness, symptoms of the usually appear, the symptoms of this COVID-19 usually appear about five days in average, but the incubation period may be as short as two days to 14 days or uh, people may be asymptomatic. Mode of transfer, epithelial cells in the respiratory and gastrointestinal tract are the primary target cells because in the epithelial cell, there is again uh, so mucos, mucus cell, mucosa cell and submucosa, muscularis and other cells are also there. So these are the basic um, immunity cells which save that from the microorganism, but these fail from the new coronavirus that enter in the body. Viral shedding can occur through the different routes like fomites, airborne or fecal oral route are also there. Coronavirus probably has a stronger ability to spread than the WHO has estimated so far. Here is the root of uh, roots of a transmi transmission of the viruses that is from the direct contact with the airborne to from one person infected person to the new person or healthy person and from other parts is from the droplet that can enter and one droplet has more than 3000 viruses and the next is indirect method or with the hands with other unanimate things like bed and other parts or knobs and that can indirectly contact with the person and cause the disease uh, from one person to another person. Here the coronavirus can survive. How much time it can survive? There were still traces of coronavirus on the Diamond Princess cruise ship 17 days after it impetrated of the passengers according to a new study by the US CDC a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, earlier this month and said the coronavirus survives in the air for several hours and could last on steel and plastic for many days. So here is the Diamond Prince cruise ship with 3700 passengers and some of them were infected from the uh, viruses, uh, coronaviruses and were kept in the uh, ship. So here are the coronavirus can survive in non-human surfaces uh, including copper 4 hours, cardboard 24 hours, stainless steel 2 to 3 days. Here how we screen the people of coronavirus. Screening is very simple and very common as temperature uh, fever is there. Temperature has increased from 38 centigrade. So we can detect from the laser or infrared or other electronic uh, thermometer to check the temperature of the person. Now coming to the diagnosis of the coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2 in 2019, testing by RT-PCR, this is the method RT-PCR and second is the test kit is available to check this. Serology for diagnostic purposes is recommended only when RT-PCR is not available. Use appropriate PPE for specimen collection, for example, droplet and contact precautions from upper respiratory tract specimens, airborne precaution for lower respiratory specimens. Now coming to the images of the viruses in the electron microscope, how will you see the microscopic structure of the viruses, coronaviruses, you can see multiple coronavirus have been replicated and present in the body. So prevention and control measures can be taken. That is very essential, very important to the healthy people. Key epidemic indicators that inform evidence-based uh, control strategy, decision making and adjustments, effectiveness of infection prevention and control measures in the various health care settings, effectiveness of entry and exit screening, effectiveness of the public health control measures and their socioeconomic impact. Restriction of movement, social distancing, that is also shown in the figure, school and workplace closures, wearing masks in general public, mandatory quarantine, 
and voluntary quarantine with active surveillance. Uh, prevention and control aspect of coronavirus or COVID-19. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Carry an alcohol base 60% or higher hand sanitizer. If the water is not available, soap is not available, then you can use the uh, alcohol based uh, sanitizer. Avoid touching your mouth, nose and eyes. Keep a distance of at least one meter from other people. Stay at home if you feel sick. Disinfect workplaces, uh, surfaces, including door, knob and counters. Cook food thoroughly, including meat. Uh, so here we can see uh, to remember this one, Wuhan, W means wash hands, you use mask properly, H for have temperature checked regularly, A avoid large crowd, and N for never touch your face with unclean hands. Here we see what you need to know, coronavirus, wash your hands for 20 seconds, I have explained earlier, use a tissue for cups and dispose it uh, quickly in the dustbin, avoid touching your face. Now use sanitizer, telemedicine and stay home, why we are saying and these are very essential things uh, like Detol and many, uh, many other sanitizers are available which have more than 60 percent alcohol you can use uh, the using uh, for the hands and for the other hand you should stay at home and telemedicine can be checked and ask any query or any information you can take and here we are uh, for you and this is the message from the medical paramedical and other staff which are the front line you stay at home and uh, save other people from this transmission. So how will you sanitize your mobiles? Mobile can be sanitized because these are also uh, microorganism uh, viruses can uh, come to the mobiles due to the uh, working and handling. So uh, sanitize this with the help of any sanitizer. Here mask for healthcare professionals and other people uh, we sell N95 masks because these are commonly used by professionals. So coronavirus is advice for people, our rangers, our security persons, our army, our military and the other people should uh, use the mask in uh, any gathering or any running or any walking, any uh, uh, movement of the body. So how to put remove and dispose mask these to remove the mask uh, remove from it from the behind do not touch the front of mask discard immediately in a closed bin clean hands with alcohol based hand rub or soap and water so ppes personal protective equipment for the doctors pharmacists and other persons are uh, which are involved in the hospital working with the coronavirus uh, cases are uh, infected persons they should wear these things these are very essential so what is the social distancing avoiding crowds and mass gatherings avoiding uh, small gatherings in enclosed spaces keep 1.5 meters between themselves avoiding shaking hands hugging or kissing avoiding visiting to susceptible areas like hospitals can do uh, you can do elbow bumping so here are the advanced technology used, how blue dot predicted coronavirus is using artificial intelligence, multiple things are coming to co control the coronavirus uh, spread. So here is the advances in science and technology, we have cell phones can get information from public and give information to them, uh, applications are available to track travelers movements, artificial intelligence has been used to fight against coronavirus. We can prevent more breakthrough by making vaccines. New preventive policies should be made. We have reserves for fight and tools for further work. Military to check the coming epidemics or pandemics are also uh, for us to cooperate or help.
so here are some intelligent artificial intelligence new uh, available devices and working like thermometer is there no uh, handling is there and on the other hand you can see drones are there to control the uh, people wearing mask or not and here are the some cameras available they are checking in the uh, camera on the computer and the other hand laser ultraviolet rays are there in the uh, patient room to kill the microorganism in the area so who should practice social distancing travelers and other people who are infected already or there is a susceptibility maintain hand hygiene by uh, regularly cleaning hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds with soap and water are used and alcohol based hand rub you should wash your hands before entering an area used by other people after using the bathroom after coughing or sneezing before preparing food or eating here is the egg timer we can use for uh, to remind us after 30 minutes to wash your hands so supportive care uh, of the coronaviruses are very essential very important currently there is no specific antiviral treatment for this new coronavirus treatment is therefore supportive which means giving fluids medicine to reduce fever paracetamol should be used and in these severe cases supplemental oxygen can be given with the help of ventilators people who become critically ill from covid 19 or with the pneumonia may need a respirator to help them breathe bacterial infection can also complicate the viral infection so bacterial antibiotics can be given there uh, are there is no evidence that supplements such as vitamin c or probiotics will help help speed recovery so uh, pneumonia due to COVID-19, there is a damage of uh, lungs, alveoli and other cells with the pus and other form inflammation is there and that cannot work and that we call viral pneumonia and from this death can occur. Now see we see the ventilators may require in case of severity or in the case of pneumonia which is essential to control the ICU intensive care unit of the uh, patient so now coming to the mental health timely psychiatric treatment should be provided for those presenting with some severe mental health problems including uh, stress including other depression you know, including panic including other sadness so for the uh, people most people patients and health worker emotional and behavioral responses are part of an adaptive response to extraordinary stress and psychotherapy techniques such as those based on on the stress adaptation model might be helpful so how we will fight what are the major things we should understand and work on those first is the diagnostic diagnostics if there are proper diagnostic uh, diagnosis you can save the people from transmission from one to another one so treatment is another option we can save the people and third one is vaccination to prevent the upcoming transmission to healthy people so repurposing uh, currently available antiviral uh, medications ideal agent to fight 2019 covid uh, covid uh, 19 would be approved small molecule drugs that could inhibit different aspects of the viral life cycle ultimately inhibiting replication two classes of potentially targets are viral polymerases and protease inhibitors both of which are components of hiv and hcv hepatitis c virus antiviral regimes indeed during the ebola outbreak none of the repurposed repurposed small molecule drugs were definitely shown to improve the clinical course across all patients so every vaccine and treatment and development for COVID-19 so far are given in the list. Last one, 23 years plasma pheresis, that is the blood taken, plasma taken from the COVID survivor patient and can be given to four or five other patients to save their life. Here is the coming slides for British for treatment options for COVID-19. WHO likes to shorten another trial every four months from 
leaving coronavirus treatment including fluoro fluorocoin and hydroxychloroquine fluorocoin derivatives of hydroxychloroquine which is less toxic than fluorocoin ritonavir or ribinavir antiviral drug uh, remdesivir for mrt mitten booster syndrome ritonavir ribinavir and interferon beta other include under investigation antiviral drug pevila vir pevila vir is also being tried interferon alpha 2b and cubian cuban uh, biotechnology are trying to uh, apply it ever lectin breakthrough in cell culture killed viruses in 48 hours coronavirus and mcloquin trials are also promising from bush and the tech trial here is the structure uh, figure of the herbiron alpha r that is from the cuban biotechnology this is also being used for the purpose of uh, coronavirus so here is the chloroquine hydroxychloroquine that is uh, derivative from the chloroquine is available in 200 milligram film coated tablets are available which can be used in critical ill or pneumonia patient to save their life so vaccine race according to who world health organization one of the most effective ways to prevent diseases first u.s covid 19 vaccine trial in humans as moderna's phase phase one clinical trial begins in march 16 with the collaboration with ni8 the u.s uh, national institutes of health so these have been tested in 45 healthy adult volunteers uh, having age 18 to 55 blood groups and coronavirus this is the first observation of an association between the abo blood type and the covid 19 the results showed that blood group a was associated with higher risk of acquiring covid 19 compared with non-a groups while blood group o was associated with lower risk for infection compared with the non-o blood groups this is very practical work uh, that is plasma cerises or pet immunization or COVID-19 survivor might save the lives of others which are infected with the coronavirus. Passive antibody transfer from convalescent patient sera potentially very effective for infection, infectious outbreaks. Patients survived will develop a polyclonal antibody immune response to different viral antigen of the COVID-19. Some of these polyclonal antibodies will likely neutralize the virus and prevent new rounds of infection. So these plasma ferises or passive immunization can be used and this very traditional and classical method used for the coronavirus patient and it can save the life of the other patient. And one uh, plasma uh, taken from the person survivor can be given to four or five patients which are infected with the coronavirus. Here is the treatment of five critically ill patients with COVID-19 with convalescent plasma and the and this is uh, published in the JAMA impact factor 51.273. So what is the future direction to control the spread of the diseases? World is this changing and the systems are coming are updating in the world and everything uh, are uh, understanding the disease and infection and they will develop the new technologies to tackle these diseases here is the our preparedness pakistan officially the islamic republic of pakistan is a currently a country in south asia it is the world's fifth most populous country with a population exceeding uh, more than 207.8 million in area it is 30 33rd uh, largest country in the world now here you can see the map of pakistan in the globe of the world here is important aspect related to pakistan how to tackle covid 19 and poverty uh, uh, as uh, imran khan the prime minister of pakistan has tweeted we have to be mindful of our susceptible population at all costs and uh, it uh, in the subcontinent with a high rate a high rate of poverty we are faced with a stark choice of having 
to balance between a lockdown which is keeping slow down preventing spread of covid-19 and ensuring people does not die of hunger and our economy does not collapse so we are walking uh, a tight rope pakistan's fight against the coronavirus threat prime minister khan has been criticized for his response but the pakistan is managing the best it can under difficult circumstances how we tackling the situation uh, our government army our military police security persons and our media persons are involved in controlling this deadly covid-19 outbreak pakistan has made relief fund and poor for poor people and quarantine center to control this coronavirus outbreak lock down the country to save the people of pakistan our doctors pharmacists nurses and paramedic staff are paying full attention to tackle this disease chinese government and chinese doctors are helping pakistan in the difficult situation as providing ventilators masks and technical guidance guidance to prevent and stop the outbreak pak chana zindabad we are with very thankful to china government using chatbots to tackle this covid-19 pandemic here in this slide we are very proud to our prime minister and his chinese president who have helped the pakistan in difficult situ- situation uh, against covid-19 and provided multiple ventilators masks and multiple personal protective equipment to pakistan and uh, send doctors like pakistani doctors to avoid or prevent this disease here is the dua for protection o oh allah i seek refuge in your in you from lycoderma insanity leprosy and evil diseases so we tribute to our doctors uh, to doctors dr lee win liang who was hailed a hero for raising the alarm about the coronavirus in the early stages of the outbreak has died of the infection that is from the china in the first case and the other hand the dr osama our national hero in the lahore 24th march a young pakistani doctor dr osama riaz laid his life while fighting against the coronavirus disease in pakistan here in this new update the last point how long might immunity to covid-19 last if you got uh, get an infection your immune system is wiped up against that virus one thing that might help clarify the immunity question is developing serological tests for antibodies to start cov2 the new covid virus uh, the covid-19 pathogen correlation between universal bcg vaccination policy and reduced morbidity and mortality for covid-19 in epidemiological study this is very essential study that has been taken place or has been published so showing that that if uh, some uh, policy uh, makers make the country bcg vaccination so they have less uh, morbidity and mortality from covid-19 when can i go back to work cdc defines recovery from covid-19 as an absence of fever with no use of fever produ- uh, reducing medications for three full days improvement in the other symptoms such as coughing and shortness of breath a period of seven full days since symptoms first appeared two negative swab tests and consecutive days are considered as all clear meaning self isolation can end and a per- patient can theoretically begin having contact with other others including at home am i still infectious after recovering study revealed that traces of the virus could persist in the body for up to 2 weeks after symptoms had vanished as the patient was no longer coughing or sneezing the potential means of transmission were being much reduced the lancet medical journal that showed that the virus survived in one chinese patient's respiratory tract for 37 days well above the average of 24 days of those with critical disease status what is age of coronavirus death rate you can see age rate is very high in more than 80 and 80 plus years old people have 
much more, uh, more higher risk of this disease and higher risk of death rate from this coronavirus. Can anyone catch COVID-19 a second time regarding COVID-19 in late February when a woman in her late 40s who had been discharged from the hospital in Osaka, Japan tested positive a second time? There are also a similar case with one of the Diamond Prince passengers and another in South Korea. These were isolated cases, but more worrying was research from the Guangdong province, China, reporting that 14% of the recovering patients had also re retested positive. COVID-19 might come back. Experts warn that even if COVID-19 becomes less active in the summer, it could return if public health officials do not gain control of the outbreak, first says the Times report. Covert coronavirus infection could be seeding, seeding new outbreaks. Scientists are rushing to estimate the proportion of people with mild or no symptoms who could be spreading the pathogen. This is a very difficult situation in the last point. Teaching online as COVID-19 takes hold, universities are closing worldwide, forcing instructors to turn to remote teaching. A year without conference, how the coronavirus pandemic could change the research. This is uh, again very rethinking uh, from the researcher to overdo this work. Coronavirus fears cancel world's biggest physics meeting is also seen in this case. COVID-19, do not forget deep people. What China's coronavirus response can teach the rest of the world? Researchers are studying the effects of Chinese, Chinese lockdowns to glean insights about controlling the vir uh, viral pandemic. Do not rush to deploy uh, COVID-19 vaccines and drugs should uh, drugs without sufficient safety guarantees. We must urgently develop measures to tackle the new coronavirus, but safety always comes first. Why does the coronavirus spread so easily between people? Researchers have identified microscopic features that could make the pathogen more infectious than the source virus and serve as drug targets. No one is allowed to go out. You are stories from the coronavirus outbreaks. So here is the coronavirus hospitals must learn from the past pandemics, use techniques owned by, during the SARS, H1N1 and Ebola epidemics to separate sick and well keep workers safe and prepare for the next outbreak, says Nahid Badlia. Calling all coronavirus researchers keep sharing, stay open as the new coronavirus continues its deadly spread Researchers must ensure that their work on this outbreak is shared rapidly and openly and in common language like in English. Did pangolin spread the China coronavirus to people? Genetic sequence of the viruses isolated from the scaly animals are 99% similar to that of the circulating virus, but uh, the work is yet to be formally published. First non-human infection is found in cats, which recovered in nine days from novel coronavirus. And uh, one thing more, that cats can also infect the other cats. And transmission is uh, uh, continues from uh, from coronavirus from one cat to another cat. Here we conclude. Multiple remaining questions are also there, but we have covered the concise full lecture full. Uh, presentation related to coronavirus 19. COVID-19 is more contagious than other viruses a type like influenza and common cold. COVID-19 or SARS-CoV-2 infects all age population uh, including uh, children, including old age, pregnant women and several other cases. Proper education to protect yourself and others is essential. Proper prevention and control should be measured. For prevention, healthy people, vaccines should be available. Every country should be ready for this type of outbreak to provide proper sanitation during hospital. 
lesson from this outbreak will help to control infectious diseases and next outbreak. Thank you so much for your attention. If you ask any query, put in the below, we will answer. Here are some references with their titles only, multiple other uh, references are also used, but I have written some of them. Thank you.